Doing a video today to show you how these new composite trailers that we're building, uh, how the plastic doesn't bulge even when it's loaded, and we'll show how fast the uh, load releases. And later on in the film, you'll see the impact resistance from loading stone and riprap. Thank you. Here we're going to show the side of the trailer. You can see how the plastic's supported by the circumferential supports, and you'll see later on after it's loaded that it uh, doesn't bulge. Here's a shot from the inside. You'll see the cover strip that holds it to back across the liner there. It keeps it from uh, sliding out. It's also sealed. The liner sets in a cover strip at the top and in the front it's sealed. It's not bolted down anywhere. It's uh, free to float in all four sides. Normally carrying 27, 28 ton is what they're allowed to run out of here. So that's a pretty good load on there. And you'll see it doesn't uh, make the plastic bulge or nothing. We'll take a shot of the sides here in a minute when they get loaded to show you. All right, you can see that uh, even though this trailer's loaded, that there's it just doesn't bulge. Just want to show you some of the haul road that these trucks are driving in and out on. They're making uh, five or six trips a day hauling the coal in and out of them and so far we've had uh, good success out of the trailers, no problem. Here's just an example of some of the rough spots on the, this is on the asphalt road. We haven't got to the haul road in mines yet that's run on. There's approximately two mile of this one way uh, haul road going in where they unload and then they'll turn around and reload.
you'll see how fast the load releases out of here once it reaches about the third stage the whole load just typically comes right out because of the UHMW plastic liner So as you can tell, it went up a long ways further. It was up uh, two stages left before it went up. This is the prototype we put together, the first one. It's uh, actually a 1998 American trailer that we made the modifications to and uh, did the test on. What you'll be able to notice in this one is if you watch the uh, stages of the hoist go up, you can tell when it switches from one stage to the next. And you'll see that the load's all out of there before it goes into the fourth stage. And we'll show you how much further the bed raises up. They're backed up a ramp dump in here, so it's a little downhill to start with. And you see the whole load just comes out at once. And count and watch the stages now. There's one. And there's the last one. And you see how clean and empty the bed is. That's what you expect every time. You can see the elevated hopper that they yeah, were dumping on, so it's uh, kind of downhill to start with. It really uh, as, as releases the load really well, and that's going to help you from turning over and having contamination from one load to the next. there in the top but it's pretty mixed riprap and you notice uh, how it bounces when it hits it's got a really good impact resistance this looks like mine run riprap it hadn't been screened or anything so it's got all kinds of sizes in there it looks like up to probably 100 
150 pounds. He's gonna move up, put the next one in the front. See some pretty big chunks in there. I'm gonna get down and uh, show you the sides on it here. Again, this is the one that was uh, modified. It was an American trailer. You can see there's didn't any dents in it. This has incredible dent resistance because it's not a uh, fastened solid it lets the plastic these drivers aren't used to it sliding out that fast so they want to raise the bed all the way up even after it's empty Here's the pile that he just dumped out so you can see different size rip wrap. We just wanted to show how it does have a pretty good impact resistance. All right, I want to show you that uh, the trailer when it's built, it has a slight arch in it. You can see down this side rail. Uh, it has an arch in it when it's empty. That way when it's loaded, it sets down flat so the liner's setting in there flat. Uh, kind of works like a flatbed. Then you can see the side sheets. They're, they hold their shape. I mean, they just don't change shape.
see now when it uh, straightens out, when you get a load, it sits down flat, so the line is laying there flat. We're going to record as it goes up, and when the uh, load starts to slide out, you can see where the uh, what stage the cylinder's in. All right, right there. You can see we're two and a half, almost three full stages. And you can see that the, the load is already released. All right. All right, there's three full stages. Now we're gonna go back here and take a look and see what's come out. Three and a half stages, or just a little bit left in there because he's going to have to pull up. All right, you can see the. Uh, cover strip, how we've got the cover strip in there. I'm going to take you up and show you the, the hoist. Can you see what stage it's in? I can see it's first, second, and third stage and the bed's empty. That's, uh, that's a huge deal. And we're doing a lot of loads. And you can see how the floor is designed. The floor is just to support the liner and hold these lower rails together. Thanks for checking out our video. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. And, uh, as we've got a really fine product, our square trailer will be out hopefully at the Louisville Truck Show. And uh, maybe we'll see you there.